massive AMD rumors. Quite a few of them. I hope you're prepared for this because this shocked me. I did, was not prepared for this. According to WCCF Tech, okay, and I've got two bits of news for this video here. Uh, according to WCCF Tech, AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D will allegedly launch next month. The Ryzen 9 9950X3D and the 9300X3D is going to be pushed back into 2025. So let's go through this article again, because this blew everybody's mind, this rumor that apparently is going to be fact. And the reason why people think it's going to be fact is because there's this issue with the <laughs> dismal sales. Dismal sales of the Ryzen 9000, the already spectacular performance of the previous gen, the 7000 series, and uh, what might be a fly or actually a B uh, in uh, AMD's bonnet is the fact that you got a new Intel CPU coming and they want, they, they're, they're, they're not going to have anything new to launch to compete with it. So AMD's probably feeling a little bit of a pinch and that's why we have this. AMD is allegedly going to introduce its next generation 3D Vcache CPU starting with the Ryzen 7 9800X3D in the coming month, followed by the 9950X3D and the 900X3D in early 2025. Uh, the rumor comes from Chip Hell Forums, where it is stated that AMD is planning to launch its 9800X3D and 8 core SKU by the end of October. While the higher SKUs, such as the uh, 9950X3D and the 9900X3D, will be pushed to next year, early next year. My guess, I think it's going to be February, March. That'll be my, my I think that's when we're going to see those. They want to get them out before spring. That's what I'm thinking they're doing. So to be precise, it is rumored by the same form member that the 9800X3D will be launched at the end of October while sales will commence in November. I think they want to do this to really capitalize, to take some of the thunder out of AMD, to help their, uh, uh, not AMD, to take some of the thunder away from Intel, but also help their own uh, dismal uh, going on. You know, they're, they're, they're just, my shirt explains it, I think. Meh. <laughs> it's just really a lot of meh. Previously, it was rumored that the AMD uh, 9000 uh, 9, Series X, 9000 X3D CPUs might see a delay to CES 2025, but later we managed to confirm that at least one part based on the Zen 5 architecture was still going to launch this year. Now, the latest rumor is, the uh, latest rumor might offer us an explanation of AMD's 3 db cache plans. As per the rumor, the information comes from a recent motherboard vendors press conference while where they highlighted the upcoming 870E, X870E, and the X870AM5 motherboards. It is mentioned that AMD was also present during the conference, whose employees talked about the upcoming Zen 5 3D Vcash parts. So they were in attendance while this was going on. It'll be interesting. Uh, that the uh, 7800 or the 9800X3D would sit as the only 3D Vcache option with Zen 5 cores on the market for a good while till we get to see the release of the higher end Vcache SKUs, such as the 16 core uh, uh, variants. Uh, it does not surprise, it's not really that interesting or surprising to me because I think they want to capitalize on Black Friday. I think they want to push these out, get them going, and try to get. The, you know, the, the most scratch they can. They're going to, they're, if you're thinking you're going to save money on these things, think again, AMD is going to charge the maximum that uh, us marks in the market will bear. <laughs> you know that's going to be a, that, that's just got to be a a, a, a a fact, a law of nature. But uh, the article continues, Ryzen 7 5800X3D was the first 3D uh, 3D Vcache chip, which was followed by the announcement of uh, the Zen 4 3D Vcache trio. But it's well known that the 7800X3D slightly launched after the higher SKUs. This time, AMD were releasing the most popular SKU first, 
and the reasons are quite apparent. Now, not like I, I mentioned Black Friday. That can't be ignored. Also, that can't be ignored is Arrow Lake Core Ultra 200 desktop CPUs coming on the 24th of October from Intel. Given the numbers that we've seen so far, the Ryzen 9000 Zen 5 chips didn't bring in much bigger uplifts in terms of gaming performance and the competition, including AMD's own previous gen 7800X3D is still uh, top of the heap. I've got one in Edna. Great freaking CPU, excellent silicone. But with Aero Lake, Intel might get the opportunity to tackle AMD with strong gaming and multi-threaded performance and also help with their own their own bad press lately and unfortunate situation with some of their 13th and 14th gen CPUs dying and the, the, you know, the oxidation issue, the voltage problems. So... There is a lot of one, un, uh, there's just a lot, there's just a small window right here between now and Christmas of some, you know, one upmanship going on that we're going to see between AMD and Intel. Uh, with Arrow Lake, Intel might get the opportunity to tackle AMD with strong gaming multi-threading performance, and the red team wouldn't like to give up on its gaming lead since, you know, we can expect them to roll out roll out the 9800 X3D to regain some of that edge in the uh, do-it-yourself market. Uh, based on previous rumors, um, the 9000 series VD3 cache variants are going to feature similar cache counts uh, as the previous Zen 4 offerings, though with a range of new features, including overclocking support. So that's one of the major things that also we might be seeing with these new CPUs is if you notice, if you remember, and we, we, of course you probably do remember when Der Bauer fricasseed his original 7800X3D because the voltages were cranked up and he, he got that bubble on the bottom of his CPU. Everybody was flipping out and that's when AMD relaxed the TDP of the 7800X3D to, I think it was 88 watts. So, and I've got, I've got a hard limit on Edna here. I've got an undervolt going. I've got mine set to 85 watts. Originally it was, uh, I think it was 110. And that was just too much for the, too much. And it's the heat and the voltage between the 3DB cache and stuff like that. It's a, it's a tricky dynamic to get right. And one of the things I'd like to see AMD improve on when it comes to this to, to their 3D Vcache technology is to make the 9000 series, the 16 core variants, have lower latency between the cores because only one CCD has the access to the cache. And that's why eh, those CPUs are kind of eh. Meh. Again, the shirt, because you got to have some right, you got to have the proper, the, the proper scheduling so that your games are always on the 3DP cache cores and not the regular higher uh, clock speed cores. And that's been a, that's been a rough balancing issue all this time. Uh, we're, I'm hoping, I'm hoping against all hope here that AMD has figure out a way to make this possibility make this happen and it, it would be nice it would it would be nice if these 16 core variants had split cash so that all the cores could benefit from them that's what we really need that would that would probably improve performance ridiculously unfortunately it would you know the, the, the thermals the, ther the the thermals are dicey and the voltages it's just something that I'd like to see happening and I don't know if AMD's trying to make it happen but there's another thing that's brewing and this one have you noticed something I'm a little late coming to this uh, this was uh, this this story broke two days ago but we also have this from video cards that uh, broke yesterday and it says AMD already planning the 9600X3D as well. This, this is, again, tagged as a rumor. 
Not just the 16, 12, and 8-core models are planned to patch, feature 3 dB cache and send 5 cores. AMD is reportedly already planning a 6-core variant within the Ryzen 5 family. Leaker Huang Anpu, Anfu, who uh, weighed in on recent rumors regarding the 7800X3D, confirmed that AMD is working on a 6-core version since the very beginning of the next-gen X3D series. This shouldn't surprise us, of course, given that AMD has already launched a Zen 3 5600X3D and a 7600X3D models, the latter only recently, and their uh, Micro Center exclusives. The new model would be the fourth and perhaps the lowest skew in the upcoming X3D family. The CPU would feature 32 megabytes of L3 cache, 64 megabytes of 3D B cache, plus the L2 and L1 caches as presented right here in this diagram. The only issue with the six core variant is that at least until now, AMD has been unwilling to launch them globally across all regions. Like I said, specific retailers such as um, uh, Micro Center here. There's a couple um, uh, specific retailers in Germany and China. Uh, the rumors suggest that the 8-core uh, 9800X3D might launch between the end of October and early November. It's definitely going to be here before Black Friday. They want to capitalize on that, so that's a given. Meanwhile, the 12-core and 16-core uh, Ryzen 9 SKUs are expected to arrive, uh, arrive later. The, perhaps by the end of this year and early next year. Again, I'm saying February, I think. Like, I think they're going to wait till February, March-ish to get those out. The release timing for the 6-core version hasn't been discussed yet, but the fact that it's been planned already indicates that it may not be delayed as much as previous models. The 5600X3D took... Two years and eight months to launch, while the 7600X3D took exactly two years since the first SKU launch in the family. So there you go. Interesting stuff. Uh, <laughs> if these rumors prove to be true, we're in for a treat, by, uh, especially around Christmas time, because... Uh, we could really, AMD could really use a nice good splash, a real big splash. So could Intel. There's been a lot of pillaring and a lot of bad press between these companies. Regarding these companies, a lot of us on the, on, a lot of us YouTube channels are kind of like, mm, we've been, we've been flogging them. <laughs> so they, they need, they, they could use a good turnaround uh, before Christmas and before the holiday season. And if you like uh, what you see and, uh, uh, Ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one.